Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, there's a lot of questions concerning AI, um, ARM PCs, and how all of this would, is going to work with NPUs. Um, once again, the ways that you can see if you have an NPU on your system, if you have a very recent INPC, uh, is either to right click on your start button, go into the task manager. And the task manager, you'll want to be in the performance tab. In my case, I don't have one on this machine, but if you would have one, it would look like this. It would tell you that there's an NPU. In this case, it says Intel AI Boost. Now, I've seen a couple of comments because a few of you out there say that you have an NPU on board your PC and you don't see it here. Um, you might not see it here and you might see it in the device manager. So if you right click and go to the device manager, you might see uh, Intel AI Boost, for example, or AMD IPU device. Uh, which is also something you might see on the uh, the device manager if it doesn't show up on the task manager. But, um, you know, it's interesting to see that um, we're talking a lot about, and I think Microsoft is really focusing a lot on the uh, Snapdragon, the Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite and so on. And there's a reason behind it is because benchmarks are showing that it is far ahead of the competition. So this is trillions of operations per second. So you have the NPU, the neural processing unit power, and the peak power with GPU, CPU. And if you look at the AMD Ryzen hog point, they're at 16 trillion operations per second for the NPU, 38 total. The Intel Meteor Lake is actually the least capable, 11 trillion operations and 34 at the max. But look at the Snapdragon X Elite. It is like flight years ahead of everybody. 45 trillions of operations per second and 75 trillions of operations per second total with GPU, CPU. This, this is simply amazing. So um, no wonder Microsoft talks about that Snapdragon a lot. I think that the power it has is immense and um, will probably be in some of the best ARM dri driven PCs with NPUs. And also today, Dell is trying to explain how to know if you have an NPU and what it's going to bring. It seems that nobody can clearly explain, you know, in, in words that people understand, not these. Um, you know, words that they use because they want to try to impress with big words that don't mean much. Um, and I think pretty much everybody has a hard time explaining what all of this is going to bring us. That's really important. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.